Hi, I'm Sherry Stump. Thank you for joining me today. I'm reading from the devotional book, God's Amazing Grace by Ellen White. Today's reading is October 28 on page 309. The title of today's devotion is In Life's Necessary Duties. In Acts chapter 20 and verse 24, it says, Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Jesus to testify the gospel of the grace of God. Your spiritual strength and growth in grace will be proportionate to the labor of love and good works which you do cheerfully for your Savior who has withheld nothing, not even his own life, that he might save you. Our good works alone will not save any of us, but we cannot be saved without good works. And after we have done all that we can do in the name and strength of Jesus, we are to say, we are unprofitable servants, Luke 17.10. If you have the riches of the grace of Christ in your heart, you will not keep them to yourselves while the salvation of souls depend upon a knowledge of the way of salvation that you can give. These may not come to you and tell you their heart longings, but many are hungry, unsatisfied, and Christ died that they might have the riches of His grace. What are you going to do that these souls may share the blessings that you enjoy. Growth in grace is shown in an increasing ability to work for God. He who learns in the school of Christ will know how to pray and how to speak for the Master. Realizing that he lacks wisdom and experience, he will place himself under the training of the great teacher, knowing that only thus he can obtain perfection in God's service. And daily he becomes better able to comprehend spiritual things. Every day of diligent labor finds him, at its close, better fitted to help others. The essential lesson of contented industry in the necessary duties of life is yet to be learned by many of Christ's followers. It requires more grace, more stern discipline of character to work for God in the capacity of mechanic, merchant, lawyer, or farmer carrying the precepts of Christianity into the ordinary business of life than to labor as an acknowledged missionary in the open field. It requires a strong spiritual nerve to bring religion into the workshop and the business office, sanctifying the details of everyday life and ordering every transaction according to the standard of God's Word. But this is what the Lord requires. Thank you for joining me today. Please be with me tomorrow when we'll read about little opportunities. And may God bless you abundantly above all you can ask or think.